Hello everybody, today I want to talk about just-in-case items. Now, by that we mean items we keep just in case. So it's duplicates, for example. So I have that one pair of scissors just in case the other one breaks. I have kitchen appliances that I never really use just in case I would make that one dish one time. I have skiing gear just in case I would go skiing again even though I haven't been for 10 years. I have extra cords just in case one of them break and then maybe there's one in there that is the right cord for what I'm looking for. Now I have to say I do not have all of the things I just talked about just because I have thought a lot about just-in-case items and I've got rid of most of them. If you're new here, my name is Leah. I'm uploading videos twice a week about minimalism and sustainable living. If you're interested in these topics, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And now let's get started. So what is the problem with just-in-case items? They are usually items we never really use, but we think we have to keep. And for everybody who wants to live a minimalist lifestyle, we want to get rid of things we don't need. And usually things we don't use and we don't really love are not things we need. And so we have to find that balance. We have to find that um, rule of when do we let go of things and when do we keep things because of course we do not want to throw away things that we need later but for these just-in-case items usually it's things that we don't really use but we think we need to keep just in case something happens but the problem also with these things is just-in-case items are usually things we keep out of fear out of uncertainty out of not being educated enough about the area that this item is used in. For example, I keep a lot of tools and house maintenance stuff just because I'm not sure what exactly I would need if something breaks and I don't know what would break, how I would fix it, so I just tend to keep more than I need because I think, yeah, maybe it comes in handy. I don't really want to learn that much about it right now to really know what would be useful in the case that I need it. So that is a reason why I would keep too many things when it comes to uncertainty. It's just if we don't know how our future is going to look, we don't know if we are going to need certain things. And when it comes to the fear part, it's just fearing that we would miss out if we let it go. F fear of not, of being in a situation where we need that item and we have a huge problem just because we need it. But usually these things are not realistic. Usually the situation does not come up. And if the situation does come up, you will usually find something else or you can replace it or borrow it. And so I think even though we keep a lot of things, a lot of us already know that most of these things are not worth keeping, but it's just hard to decide which ones to let go of. But because of course there have been situations where you've maybe decluttered something that you needed later. And that has happened to me as well. I've rebought a few things and I will link the video up here where I talk about the specific things that I bought again after decluttering them. But now let's get to the first tip of how to decide if you want, can get rid of something or not. First one is really obvious kind of. It's think about the exact situation you would need that thing. And when you think about that situation, think about when has that happened the last time? Is this situation coming up in the future? And how likely is it, if it's not like a set thing that is coming up, how likely is it that it is coming up in the future again? For example, I keep ski pants or like these warm snow pants things that I wear when I'm out in the snow and I haven't used them for the last one and a half years. But I know I'm going to use them again. I have used them several times and I know that I love being in Scandinavia, being out in the snow if it decides to snow in Germany. And so I know that I enjoy it. I know that I will plan something, that I will go outside into the snow and that I will use them again. So I'm keeping them. But of course, if five years from now I haven't used them again, I would reconsider and really think about how important that is to me and if I want to keep it or not. The second question you can ask yourself is, if I would be in the situation that I am imagining right now, how bad would it be if I don't have it? 
because it really depends on the item. Sometimes it things that are not even really necessary for the situation you picture yourself in because they would just be nice to have in that situation. So if you don't have them, maybe it wouldn't even be that bad. Or it could be that you can easily get a new one, that you can replace it with something else you have. And so that item is not really necessary to keep. The third question you can ask yourself is how easy would it be to borrow it or to rent it? And sometimes, for example, with skiing gear, I think that's fairly easy and maybe it's really worth just borrowing or renting it because I know that costs some money, but it also costs some money if you're flying to the destination and you have to pack that huge thing of gear and it also costs some money if you keep 100 things you just keep because it would cost some money to rent them and you have to have a bigger apartment or you have to like rent an extra storage unit to keep the things in. Of course you have to decide for your life if that makes sense, renting it or not. But if it's an item you're not even sure if you're ever gonna use it again, maybe it's worth giving away. Fourth thing to really keep in mind is how many just-in-case items do you have? Because if every just-in-case item has a small chance of being used in the future again and you keep maybe 1,000 just-in-case items, in the end you're maybe gonna need five of them again. Is it worth keeping the other 995 items just because you know you're going to need these five items out of these 1,000 items? I don't think it's worth it. Again, just because it takes up so much space, you have to clean it, you have to maintain it, you have to move it, you have to like just have the things even though they are just there in case you would need them again. And we really have to be honest with ourselves when it comes to these just in case items. Most of the time, just in case is not a 50-50 chance, it's more like so much more likely that you were never gonna use it again then it is that you're going to use it again and can't find a good solution like borrowing it, using something else for it. In the end, you can't know right now if you're going to need it. But maybe also just listen to yourself. If you have so many things and you really want to get rid of some of them, just do it. Maybe listen to your gut feelings, maybe just be brave and do it because I can guarantee you, you will find a solution if the situation comes up where you need one of these things. It is really different for everybody. If you really don't have any money to replace any of these items, maybe it's worth keeping them. But on the other hand, if you can sell a lot of them, you have more money to rebuy the thing that you eventually maybe are going to need again because you really don't know about that. There is no rule for that and I can't give you an answer, but I think these questions can help and it's, always, to me at least, really helpful to think about how much of the decision is just dependent on my fear, on me not knowing anything about it, and how much of it is really realistic. How much do I really know about it? How likely is it really that um, this situation is coming up? So the feeling side of it and the actual situation are things that sometimes get mixed up and maybe really taking the time, taking a step back and evaluating the situation can help a lot. If you want to see more videos, I will link you a playlist and a video right here and I hope you could get something out of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!